1912, Lyon, France. Young socialite Marie Littell gazes into the vanity at her parents' home when an intruder sneaks up behind her. The next morning, she's discovered strangled to death. Police call in a man by the name of Dr. Edmund Locard, who had, in 1910, established one of the first police laboratories in the world. Locard examines the body of Marie Littell. He determines the time of death to be at midnight. When he looked very closely, he could see tiny scrape marks around those bruises. And he concluded from this that the assailant had dug his fingers so deeply into her neck that he must have scratched the outer layer of the skin and probably took some tissue with him. Police consider possible suspects, and one rises to the top of the list almost immediately. Marie's boyfriend, Emile Gorbin. But his alibi places him far away, since Locard determined the time of death was at midnight, and his friends swear that Gorbin was with them at that time, playing poker. And the police believe very strongly his friends were telling the truth. But Locard isn't so sure. He asks to examine Gorbin's fingernails. Locard still thinks Gorbin may be the killer. He performs a series of tests on the sample. As Locard digs deeper into the dust from beneath Gorbin's nails, he uncovers an amazing amount of detail. The sample contains reddish iron oxide pigment known as Venetian red. It looked very much to him like the kind of Venetian red that chemists use to make ladies' makeup. Locard consults with Marie's chemist. And the chemist was able to identify this definitely. This was definitely the specimen that he had made. In order to get all these microscopic ingredients under his fingernails, Gorbat must have scraped them across skin that wore this specific face powder. Locard concludes that Gorbat must have strangled Marie. So they confront Gorbat again and he sticks to his story. Police don't intend to let him off the hook. They confront him with Locard's findings and insist that he must be the killer. And he finally tells police how he staged his alibi. Gorbin set up what appeared to be the perfect alibi by tricking the young men who'd been playing cards with him. He did this by setting the clock ahead so that it appeared to be one o'clock when it was actually midnight, which gave him time to travel to Marie's home, commit the crime without his friends realizing that the hour was wrong. And Gorbin would have gotten away with it had he not carried away trace evidence that an experienced scientist could detect.